My science teacher showed us the coolest way to learn about the periodic table. It's called the periodic table game, and we would play every day if we could. You play the game in groups of two to four players. The game board is, you guessed it, the periodic table. The idea is to identify an element from a game card that another player holds up for you to read. If you can identify the element's name without any extra clues you can move four spaces along the periodic table. If you need a clue, the other player will read one from the back of the card. It will keep reading clues until you identify the element and you move three, two, or one space depending on how many clues you need. Sometimes you land on a space that requires you to pick an atomic card. That's when the real fun begins. Atomic cards can cause you to lose a turn or send you clear across the periodic table. The first player to reach element 118, Oganesson, wins a game. My teacher says we're learning a ton about the periodic table, but I don't care. I want to keep playing it anyway. The periodic table game has become my favorite activity to help kids learn about the periodic table. They love to play and don't even realize how much they are learning. The game is designed to challenge all age and ability levels as clues get progressively easier giving more value to identifying an element with fewer clues. Students can play over and over and still be challenged. If they ever do master the periodic table, that would be a great problem to have. Because the game is a digital product, I can make as many sets of the game for my students as I like. In fact, I like to involve the students in assembling, coloring, cutting, and gluing the game board and cards. This helps give them ownership in the game and they may even take better care of it. The periodic table game is the best addition to my science curriculum this year.